Hello and welcome back to another little Geek Reviews. This time I'm taking you back to the regeneration set. I haven't opened this since I ended up getting it. It was a character online exclusive and it has just been sitting there on the shelf. But I think it's about time I opened it, had a little look so let's go through it together. So it comes in this white presentation box with the new Doctor Who logo on there. On the sides it's just got the Doctor Who regeneration set. And on the back the logo as well. When you open it up, it's got a little write-up of the 13th Doctor. And also one of the 14th. And then a little snippet of the power of the Doctor. So it just says there, in the adventure, the 13th Doctor meets her old enemy, the Master, in an epic showdown that includes the Daleks and the Cybermen. Her final battle before she re regenerates once more. So let's just crack this open and have a little closer look. So it's got, it comes in a, like a little backing card there of like a regeneration type of design. So we'll start off with the 13th Doctor. Let's go with the articulation. So this 13th Doctor, a head, not just twists round, but it does bobble up and down also. The arms move up, down. They're not on an actual ball joint, which is such a shame. But the twist from the upper arm the on a ball joint at the elbow and the twist round from the wrist as well. The waist it is very restricted round the waist to be fair but it has got a ball joint although with it being a long jacket they don't bend further back really. It's only like a little step type of further back. And then the boots. They are fixed also. But the outfit itself, it comes with various outfits from previous Doctors. So you've got the 8th Doctor's jumper there. You've got the 5th Doctor's Celery in the lapel. You've got the 4th Doctor's Scarf. The check pants. I think they maybe come from, I'm not too sure, maybe the 2nd Doctor I've seen them on, or the 1st Doctor even. And the boots, they kind of look like the 11th Doctor, so Matt Smith's one. But the coat itself, it does call, that is the 13th Doctor's coat. It's quite stiff plastic. And I think the little tie does come from the original 10th Doctor, is it? I think it's the 10th, yeah. The paint detail on the hair really does stand out on this one. So on previous Jodie Whittaker Doctors, it's been quite yellow type of tinge on it. But they've got it real accurate on this one now. And then the 14th Doctor. So again, not the 10th. The 14th. Still David Tennant now. And he's got a completely different sculpt on his head with new hairstyle. His head doesn't bobble up and down like Jodie Whittaker's head, which is such a shame. His just does go left and right. But how accurate does that new sculpt look on him? Absolutely great little figure. His arms do come on a ball joint from the shoulder. They do twist on the upper arm. 
ball joint at the elbow and a 360 rotation on the hands his waist can turn left to right he's got a ball joint on the knee and with it being a shorter jacket you can really can bend them straight up but his feet are fixed on the leg as well you can really feel the texture of the jacket let's just fold this out just show you the paint detailing on his little waistcoat there a little brown check effect and follows it straight through with his trousers but he's still got his little iconic like converse type of trainers I have just noticed in the packaging that Jodie Whittaker did, did come with a little sonic screwdriver which just slides straight in the fisted hand there well again David Tennant's 14th Doctor hasn't come with any but there they are guys the regeneration set came out in early 2022 online character ordered as well but thanks for checking in on this one again do the usual stuff drop us a like drop us a sub hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any future ones but thanks for checking in and I will catch you on the next.